guys welcome back to my channel my name is omolade ibikule and if this is your first time stopping by hmm, grab a chair take a drink you're most definitely welcome today's look is about this soft neutral i don't know i really don't know what to call it you guys are the makeup group this is a look you can rock to work you can rock to church i mean name it and if you are all about the neutral makeup life then you are on to the right video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that it would let me know you know what kind of videos you like and by the way i am not a makeup guru disclaimer disclaimer this is my first makeup tutorial and i hope you like it so without further ado let's get into the video so i already did my um, eyebrow off camera because <laughs> I know it's going to take a while and I don't want it to use to be long and then I'm currently using the Benina eyeshadow palette 3 I'm using a brown shade in the palette just to act as my transition then I'm going in with this dark purple shade also in that same palette I'm using my Zoeva blending brush it has a number but I really can't remember it now so I'm putting this on the outer corner of my eye and slowly working it into the inner corners too. Then I'm taking this dark shade in the Benina 2 palette and putting this on the outer corner just to darken it a bit and then blending it slowly into my main eye socket, <laughs> whatever that means, yes. And then I'm now blending all of that now with the first blending brush I took. Okay, the second one, the one I use for the dark eyeshadow is a different one. It's a tinier blending brush. And then I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige to kind of do some sort of cut crease thing. I'm sorry that this video is, this particular footage is not so clear. I don't know I don't know what's happening with my camera maybe I've not gotten the settings for it but we'll get the angle bit later so I'm I taking this um, pinkish shade from the Benina 2 palette also and just dabbing it on the areas I just applied concealer and then I'm now blending the ash lines and all of that yep blend 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 Blend, blend. Okay. And then I took a very, very light shade in that same palette and applied it on my crease. Even though it's not showing up, I don't know why I bothered. Okay, I'm lining my waterline now. Sorry that this thing is blurry. I'll change the camera soon to my phone. You'll see it. I'll change it later soon. And then, okay, I'm applying the dark eyeliner. Ooh, look at that sharp wing. And then putting on my falsies that I applied once. What? Okay, now I'm going in with my um, Milani Mattifying Primer and applying this all over my face. On areas out, you know, naturally just get oily. That's basically all my face. Apart from my immediate under eye area, I am like super oily. Like, me and oil are best friends. Can really fry oil on top of my face <laughs> and then I'm using my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer and then applying this on the dark areas of my face look at that big pimple under my eye god the village people have gotten me <laughs> then I'm blending that out with my beauty blender I don't know if this is real beauty blender but then I got it in the market and it said beauty blender on it and it works like beauty blender okay i've changed my camera now and this is my phone and i prefer i think i prefer my phone i don't know so now i'm setting the my whole face with my sasha buttercup setting powder and then applying my mary Kay time wise foundation now i think i'm the only one in nigeria that sees this foundation but i don't know it works for me and then i'm applying this with my flat um, foundation brush from Zoeva. It has a number, but I really can't remember it now. Yes, 
I'm applying foundation. I don't apply too much foundation, but because I just get oily on time. So I'm going over that with my beauty blender and also applying just a bit to sparse areas of my face. So after I use my brush, I like to go in with my beauty blender and then work my way up to my neck and all that. So I'm highlighting now with my Pro Concealer in um, Pure Beige. I'm just putting this all over the parts where lights would normally hit my face, under my eye. The bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin, my moustache. <coughs> moustache. <laughs> yeah, all of those good places. And I'm blending it out with my beauty blender. Beauty blender. Mm, mm, mm. Why do we always make that face when we blend concealer? <laughs> we open our mouth like... Uh, uh. <laughs> this is so fun. This is so fun. <laughs> yes. I don't know whether I was listening to music or the music was playing in my head. <laughs> yes, so I'm blending all of that part out now. I'm just blending everything together because I really don't like you know, lines of demarcation. And then going in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and my beauty blender. I'm just going to set the areas I just concealed. So it doesn't move. You don't want it to. I don't like to bake because it just leaves patches on my face, anyways. So I'll just apply it lightly. I always put around the areas of my mouth too because that's where I get smile lines. And then I'm doing some sort of shameful reverse contour. I don't even know why I bought that. I should have just left it. Anyways, I'm going in now with my Milani powder in warm. And I'm applying this all over the the remaining part of my face. Yes. Going with my classic face definer <laughs> with the broken highlighter. <laughs> I'm going to take the contour shade. Yeah, with my flat angled brush and just you know, contour my face for some definition. By the way guys, let me know what you think of this look and if you think I should continue with makeup looks or just give it a stop, just press the brakes and I'll listen to you, anything you say and just also suggest videos that you want me to do and I'll get to them. Mm. Right now I'm contouring my nose. I don't like you know ash contouring on my nose. I just like it like, very simple. And I'm using this blush that I've had for like three years. <laughs> I'm you know just going to apply my girl. I'm just going to apply blush on my. Let's see you far away, away. My, my heart go. Brush. Yes. And using the broken highlighter from the classic palette, face definer palette, I'm just applying that to the high points of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose. Yes, 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 yes. Putting it in my inner corner, and then my cupid scores all the colors. Now taking my MAC pencil, don't know if this is the original MAC pencil, but then I got it in the market. I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to take my TC15 um, lip gloss, matte lip gloss in marshmallow and you know just apply it all over my lips. Just apply a small amount. Small amount. Ooh, egg dancer. <laughs> And then I'm going now with my, you know, powder and just putting it all over my face because I don't want ash lines. And then I'm lining my water, my waterline with the same eyeliner I used, you know, for the wings. And I'm going with my Iman mascara and just, you know, applying that on my lower lash line. 
Now I want you know that glossy look so I'm applying some gloss. Yeah, I'm applying some gloss on top of that. Mmm, show them, keep them, can my natural hair popping. Oh shit. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.